Hello and welcome. This is Kumar Saurav and you are watching Screens. Today we are going to build a unique tab navigation which is used in Swiggy which is a leading food delivery app in India. So let's start. Let me explain you briefly how the Swiggy tab navigation works. So they have three sets of tabs. The one is when the app is loaded. So you can call it home tabs which has Swiggy, Food, Instamart, Dine Out, Card and Reorder. And when you click on food, it opens next set of tabs. And the first button is home and a back arrow, which takes me back to the home screen. The second one is food. The third is eat list, then bolt, card and reorder. Similarly, when I go back and click on Instamart, it again opens another set of tabs. The first one being home which has a back button on top and then Instamart handpicked categories and reorder. Let's see how we can achieve similar tab navigation using React Expo Router. So let's start. At the end, this is what I achieved. Assume this as the home tab navigation, which has Swiggy, Food, Instamart and reorder. And then when, when you click on food, it opens another set of tabs, which has home with a back button, food, eat list and bold. So when I click on back, it takes me to the home tab layout. We can implement the Instamart tabs similar to what we implemented for food. So let's start. So in the root layout, we have two tabs. The first one is home tabs and the another one is food tabs. So let's open the food, the home tab. Home tab layout has four screens. The first one being index, then Instamart reorder, and then we have food dummy. I will take you to the food dummy why we have created it. And in the next set of tabs, we have bold, eat list, food, and home dummy. So let's look at the layout, which is there for home tabs. So you can see here that we have four tab screens inside tabs, and it has name, and I can associate it with it. So this is how the home tab is rendered. So you could see Swiggy, Food, Instamart and Reorder. And to switch to another set of tabs, what I have done is created Food Dummy. So when you click on Food Dummy, it's just a dummy component or a route to redirect to the Foods tab. When you click on the Food tab, this is just rendering this component and this component is redirecting to food which is here so this layout and then the active tab selected is food so this is the behavior which we get when you click on food see that this transitions to another set of tabs so one thing i can show you is let's remove the animation so it will be more clear to you guys so I will remove the navigation for a bit. And when you see, you will now see the transition. So can you see it? When I click on food, the whole stack is replaced. But since I have made this animation none, this uh, the stack just appears on top of it. So when you click on food, the another stack, which is the food tab stack, is rendered without any animation. And when I click on back, I'm returning back to the home tabs. So this is how you could implement Swiggy type of navigation in your apps. And you could create another set of tabs, which is Instamart tabs inside app and use the same philosophy there to switch to third set of tabs, which is Instamart. That's it for now. If you have any questions, please drop in comments. I will love to answer them. Until then, see you next time.